So turning the power supply all the way down. This one here. When I start it, I want to use the torque uh, mode. So it, as soon as you boot it, you're already in the two quadrant constant torque dynamometer. So I'll start that at zero first. Turn the main power supply on and give it some power. Motor should start turning. If it's not, you misconnected something, most probably. So now I see I have roughly one amp per phase. I'm drawing a little more than 100 watts, but the VARs are really over 300. It's having a very bad power factor. The VARs are the reactive power that we want to get rid of. When I go here and press the start button and increase the torque, I see that the active power is going up with the torque, but the reactive power still stays at a very high rate. So more watts will give me more current, but even without the mechanical load, I still have around one amp. I'm shutting down the power supply and I want to add capacitors to compensate for the power factor. Do I want to compensate the power factor of the power supply? No, I want to compensate the power factor of the motor. So I connect from the motor two capacitors here. And I will do the same thing as I did on the motor here, just short circuit the other side. Now all my switches are off, so when I start that again, I still have my bars that are really maxed out, and my current is still around 1 amp. When I start adding capacitors on that, I see that the VARs are going down. Now I'm almost at zero VARs. And my current has dropped to below 0.3 amps roughly. So I'm saving 70% of the current for the same net effect that is having a motor that is turning. When I am increasing the torque, the load. I see that my VARs stays roughly constant. They don't change with the load that much. And I only have active power watts. So my overall current, even with the load, is still below one amp. Less current, less charge from the power company. But especially the power factor is what you need to compensate in an industry. You want to reduce the VARs.